Ravens GM Eric DaCosta has made another fantastic selection in the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft. Welcome into the Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. I'm Matthew Peterson, and Ravens fans should be happy to meet Tyler Linderbaum, the new center for the Baltimore Ravens. Wow. I mean, from Kyle Hamilton earlier in the draft, earlier in the round, to finding Linderbaum at number 25, a lot of things to be excited about here as we break down this next Ravens draft pick. It came after they traded away Marquise Brown to the Arizona Cardinals, got 23, pivoted back a little bit because what's another trade, <clears throat> excuse me, in this 2022 NFL draft? It's been one trade after another. It's honestly just been utter chaos here, all right? Let's revisit that Marquise Brown trade a little bit to understand how Baltimore got in the position to draft Tyler Linderbaum, who, by the way, is the number one center in this draft class, just like how Kyle Hamilton was the number one safety in this draft class. So Baltimore comes away with the number one safety, the number one center, and all it cost them was Marquise Brown, who was, I wouldn't say entering, you know, close to the end of his contract, but it, it's just almost like, you know, typical Baltimore here of, Hey, let's get a good player. Let's maximize what we have for them when they're under contract. And then we'll move on and get some assets and reset and get a little younger. I mean, we've seen this movie before, right? A deeper dive, though, at Tyler Linderbaum, who he is as a player and what to expect from him. He's an elite athlete. He played six sports in high school. This coming from our NFL draft guru, Tom Downey here, who said, in his words, blunt and directly, don't be dumb. Dude is a stud. I mean, there is something different about linemen that come out of the Big Ten. Maybe it's just me, but you kind of get the sense of, oh, went to Iowa? He must have, like, pushed a ton of hay and stuff and had bags of corn all over his shoulders walking to school 10 miles and back. He's got to be a stud. He's got to be one of the strongest guys on the field. The only knock against Linderbaum is you don't get a ton of versatility out of him. He's not a center. He isn't someone that you can maybe you know, try to mold into a tackle or move around the line, a shuffle piece, a chess piece. No, he's going to have the football in his hand to start every single play. That's what he did in Iowa City, and that's what expect out of him in the Charm City. So think about this now. Grade the first two picks after getting Hamilton at 14, when a lot of people thought he could go top five, and Linderbaum, the number one center in this draft class, to find him in the mid-20s, I think it's absolute steals. This may be the biggest winner of the first round of the NFL draft, what the Ravens have done so far, getting the number one center and getting the number one safety. Give it a letter grade down below. Let's check out what the experts think of Tyler Linderbaum. NFL.com's Lance Zerline saying, Linderbaum has Pro Bowl potential, but needs to be matched with a move-based rushing attack. He has the foot quickness and GPS to consistently find uh, top positioning in the first phase of the block. He plays with leverage and body control to sustain and keep the running lane open. Yeah, Tyler Linderbaum does a lot of great stuff, okay? Like I said, he was one of the top offensive linemen, the top center in this NFL draft class. If you want the numbers behind it, because you know some people – when you make a draft pick like this, you look at this as, this is a multi-million dollar investment. I'd like to know how wide his arm is. And that's fine. His wingspan is 78 inches. That's big. I, I, it's an albatross. It's bigger than me right now. Six foot two, 296 pounds. He kind of gets a nickname, Tiny Tyler. All right, when you're six foot two and you're nearly 300 pounds, if that's tiny, I, I've got no room to talk. So... I like the pick a lot, and I also love the NFL draft coverage that Chat Sports provides you guys here. So make sure you're subscribed to the Ravens Rundown. Producer Jeremy Chuggs here at the channel, keeping the flock informed on the latest Ravens draft news and rumors. So hit that big red button, subscribe if you love the Ravens, and subscribe if you love free Ravens content. Speaking of the NFL draft, we are live at Chat Sports. For every single selection from the first to the finale. So make sure you are with us at youtube.com slash chatsports TV. If you like spots to get breakdowns of every single pick and not hear about a horrible tragedy and a player's upcoming, 
yeah, that's a little weird ESPN. We don't do that at Chat Sports. We play games, we keep you guys entertained and informed all at once. So make sure you are riding with us throughout the entirety of the 2022 NFL Draft. Getting back to our new friend, Tyler Linderbaum. What to expect out of him? All right, well, let's talk about what the Ravens love to do. Love to run the football. What, what does Linderbaum do well? He's a run-heavy offensive lineman, okay? He's got some scheme fit knocks against him. I don't know. The, the, the big wigs of NFL draft uh, gurus love to just throw out the cliches of, I don't know if he's a good scheme fit. Listen. All right, I've got no worries that John Harbaugh and this staff can get any player ready to suit up and play for the Ravens on Sunday. So may not be an ideal scheme fit or may not be a player that can bounce around from one scheme into another. But at the end of the day, you picked up the number one center in this draft class. And before that, you got a top safety in Kyle Hamilton, who really isn't a safety. He's more of just a stud athlete, okay? And... I get it if you're a little upset from moving on from Marquise Brown just because the heartstrings a little bit, you know what I mean? But, hey, you got a first-round pick. Look at it this way. Would you rather have Marquise Brown and a third-rounder who may not even be on the roster after three years because it's a crapshoot in the NFL? Or Tyler Linderbaum who can step in and replace Bradley Bozeman at your fun five? I'm riding with the latter. So how are you feeling after round one? Scale it for me one to a, one to ten. I don't know how you can be at a one. I mean, I love the Hamilton pick, especially at the value at 14. But to get Linderbaum in the mid-20s, two immediate starters, put me at a 10 if you're a Ravens fan because this is a fantastic haul for Baltimore at the end of the day. One last time, we'll hit on the news here. Tyler Linderbaum going 25th overall to the Charm City, going up from Iowa City to Baltimore. He's going to be your starting center probably day one, and there's just there's, there's high expectations, as there should be, that this is a player that can play for a long time and be your franchise center, and that's what you're looking for for the Ravens, okay? A team that was banged up a lot last season, going to get healthy over this offseason. How about Lamar Jackson? He's going to put his hands under someone else's you-know-what for a little bit now, a change of pace, but he should be happy, even though he lost his buddy Hollywood Brown. He gets a new one in Tyler Linderbaum. Wrap up the show with this question for you guys. Who should the Ravens draft next? You know, who is someone you've got your eye on going forward into day two and into day three? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be checking for who you think the Ravens should be drafting next in the 2022 NFL Draft.